All right, everyone, and welcome to The Wolf Among Us, or welcome back to episode two. My name is John, and I'll be playing this on PC for the rest of the series because uh, the first one I played on Xbox, but the rest of it I'm going to be playing on PC because, well, if you're watching this on the fourth when it came out, uh, it came out for PC, Mac, and PlayStation all today, but it'll be coming out on Xbox tomorrow. Also, I don't have my Xbox 360 hooked up anymore, so we're going to be playing it on PC with an Xbox controller. So, anyway, if you missed my previous episode, there'll be a link in the description below, so if you want to catch up and just watch it all at once, that's fine. But, anyway, episode 2 came out today. Before we start, I'm going to show you my settings. Uh, we're playing on max settings everything. It's nothing really amazing because I don't know this is a point-and-click game But anyway, just to show you that max settings everything um, Yeah, without further delay. I just we're gonna be starting episode 2 and it's going to Start with the recap from before so You want to do that just skip ahead a little bit, but anyway, let's start it up Mr. Toad. Do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about? What, you stupid c <laughs> You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. It's not what you might be thinking. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Motherfucker. Come with me. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No. I'm D. He's dumb. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and uh, they're gonna string me up, Big B. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl named Fuck, man! This fucking lab dog. He comes sniffing around this part of town. The rich fucks in the woodlands need a shake to her. Ain't that right, Big B? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. All right, so that was the recap if you didn't watch it. Try not to talk during the cutscenes so you guys can enjoy the series as much as I do. And yeah, each episode is around $5, or if you want to get it on Steam, sometimes there's a sale for like 33% off. Essentially buying four for the price of five. It's so weird. It's happening. Mr. Wolf! Ooh. Oh, yeah. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like um. you could use some rest. I'll be better when I find who did this, which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Big B. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You don't know anything. If you did, you wouldn't be sitting here talking to me. You'd be talking to the piece of shit that did this. Well, you stonewalling me like this isn't helping either of us, so why don't you cut the shit and... 
Ooh. She's angry. I'm trying to help you, Bigby. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No. Didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. It's a sign. Oh my god. Are you okay? You don't look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I, I just said that. Is there something? She's gonna change. That's not normal. <laughs> By the way, this is like Please. a fairy tale kind of game so you'll kind of see resemblances a little bit I'm sorry just make it stop please uh wait what do you do at this point everything was recorded oh we have to go now. What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, Ooh. Oh yeah. Good save. I think it's probably going to come back to haunt me, but you never know. It's on recording. So it's like they know. I would have done something with the camera too while I was at it. Just herp derp. So for the first episode, let me know how the audio settings are. If it's too loud or if I'm too loud or too quiet. Just let me know so I can fix it in the future episodes. That would really be appreciated. <clears throat> Thanks for the lift. Certainly. We, um, we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him, and he hasn't said anything useful. And Pretty sure he's working for someone, but he ha we're just gonna let him know he has a brother. They've been snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't mean they're necessarily involved in the murders. It's better to just tell them, just so they know, even if they weren't involved, I guess. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. Now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, it's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she, um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... Uh... I guess fine, I suppose. I don't remember. Just she try to be the good guy here. Careful. It's like in episode one. She was always fond of you, Big B. Yeah. Huh. 
I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. Dang. So right here, you would have gotten an achievement. But turn that off. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on. Just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you. In theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. Fuck. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. <laughs> oh, what a smartass. How's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? Shh. Do you think this is a joke? Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Back in the alley, you mentioned your employer. Who is it? Who are you working for? <laughs> Why? You looking to change your occupation? Mm, you just leave him. I think. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Uh. Let's go A. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. This is why we're here. Someone killed this woman, and we need to know who. I get it, I do. But I can't tell you what I don't know. Just tell me who your employer is. I'd like to help you, but I can't. My brother and I, we got a thing about loyalty. We do our See, job violence is not the answer. Shut. If you we can don't do hold it, always other ways. Paid. Your brother. Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Okay, let's uh look at that. A cigar that's not really helpful. I'm saving that. Uh we'll just offer it to him. Here. Try to be the nice guy, man. Yeah, all right. Maybe he'll talk. Wanna see a trick? This isn't going to work. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? <sighs> Let me handle this. So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now. Oh. But he didn't well, was it anybody. about him? You mentioned huh? Faith. Look, I went oh. to her apartment. That's no secret, you saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D. What did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. Let's see. Examine. 
You always carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? Come on, Dee. What did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Huh. Faith was plenty of things. What did she steal? That ain't one of them. What did she steal? I don't know. Just some dumb thing my boss was after. Your boss. See, we're getting it slowly. Well, that Let's brings talking. me back to my first question. Who are you working for? You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. Okay, let's see, uh... I should be leading the interrogation. We can uh, I guess we just have to look at it. Why not? You just carry this around? Always handy that way. Maybe we'll get him to talk now. It couldn't hurt, I guess. <laughs> Bluebeard's just like, what are you doing? Why? Just answer the questions. Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look, you're not a bad guy, despite what beauty says about you. At least you're not a total oh, bastard. Anyway. Shots fired. But I just can't give you that information. There's no way beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? I'm gonna let him talk. Yeah. We're real close. I thought this was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest, Bluebeard! And not getting any answers from him this way. Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. Uh, what the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now! You enjoying yourself? Immensely. Stop! What the <clears throat> fuck do you think you're doing? Oh. Oh my god. Wrong trigger. Mache. Go to Mache. Oh my god. <laughs> my mouse. Or my controller clicking. Oh. What's going on down here? That's not her. Snow. Oh! Cliffhanger! That would be the perfect cliffhanger.